My name is Sarah Whelan. I'm doing a Tumor Immunology PhD at the moment. I really like studying science in school, particularly chemistry and biology. So I got quite good grades in them, so then I went on and chose science particularly, and then immunology as a specialty. Um, I ended up doing a master's actually, a research master's when I finished. And I loved the project so much, I wanted to continue on and do a PhD. Trinity is a great university at both an undergraduate and a postgraduate level. There's loads of social activities and ultimately Trinity is a great university for immunology. I work at the Trinity Bioscience Institute, or the TBSI for short. There, there's lots of scientific disciplines, so they can come together, there's constant interaction, ultimately bettering the research. Tumor immunology is studying how the immune cells in the body interact with each other in cancer, and we're particularly interested in the liver. So the liver itself is actually this wonderfully complex immune organ that has lots of anti-tumor immune cells in it. So normally it's really good at fighting off these cancer cells, but sometimes other, for other factors such as fat deposition or infection or cancer itself, these certain anti-tumor populations are compromised. So in our project, in our research, we're trying to understand why they're like, affected essentially, and if there's any way we could try and manipulate them. This research is really important because we study a particular immune cell called INK T cell, which is an anti-tumor cell. And this population of cells is controlled by a protein called CD1D. And this protein is bound to lots of surfaces of different cells in the body. It's actually different versions of it, one of which we discovered in the lab, a soluble version, which is not attached to any cells. And we think that this comes off the liver cells and then goes into the blood. So with this, we could actually use as a marker of how patients will do in the future and if their cancer will come back to them. In addition to cancer, we're really interested in these cells in obesity. So one of our collaborators, Lydia Lynch in Harvard, has actually really looked at these cells in that kind of context. So together, we're able to look at the protein of interest, the soluble CD1D, in both obesity and in malignancy and get a much broader aspect of what this research really means. The main aspiration in my field is to publish. Publishing is the currency of science. But in addition to that, we're really interested in how we could use this protein of interest, the soluble CD1D, as a way of looking at how patients can do in the future and how their, if their treatment will work effectively. So what makes me really proud of my research is actually the volume of skills that I've acquired throughout my time here. But in addition to this, just being really part of something that's quite rewarding and ultimately can potentially affect people's lives. So I think public engagement is really important because a lot of the time people donate to cancer research without really understanding what they're contributing to. So with this kind of information, they can fully understand what we're doing here and ultimately aid future research. I think Discover Research Dublin Night is so important because then the public can come and see what they're really contributing to and ultimately maybe inspire some future immunologists.